Step three is about customizing your landing page. To do that, you go to the website coming soon and then you click right here on the right to edit page. Now, the first step is to click on settings on the top left and you want to change the default typography, which is the text that is going to appear here and here and here and here. So I'm going to change it instead of Poppins. I'm going to choose a different one, which is going to be for the sake of demonstration, Merry Weather. And now this will automatically change all the text. Next, I'm going to scroll down and change the heading typography, which is this headline. And I'm going to change that to be in this case, play fair display. And this will be the title. Then I'm also going to change the text color again for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to make this white. Now it's going to make everything disappear. However, what I'm going to do next is scroll down to the background color. And instead of making it this color, I'm going to make it this brown. Now, why did I do that? Because now the text is going to appear and it's going to still be visible just fine. Now you will notice that this headline is still this color. And the reason that is, is because heading typography, the color is black. So again, I can go here and I can make it, let's say yellow, I can make it white and so on. Now, in case you don't see it changing, you could just click right here, highlight it, click here and change it to white like so. Now, this is an example of customizing the colors. Of course, you might be watching this and be like, Iran, this color looks terrible. That's okay. I'm not trying to make it pretty bright this second. I'm just showing you how to change the colors. Now you want to also change the picture. And the first thing that I showed you is the settings here, because this is the stuff that you want to set up on the background color and also the color of the headline and the text and all that. I can always bring it back and make it, let's say white. And then on the text color, we're going to change it and make it, let's say green. And then we're going to make this one also green. Let's just say now again, you'll see here, but this didn't change. So I'm just going to have to change that manually and do it like so. Okay. So that's that. Now, what you want to do is once you've done the settings, you're going to now go ahead and customize things here. And there's a few things you want to customize. First of all, let's replace this picture with a different picture. So you want to click on the picture. You'll notice that this thing pops up. Then you're going to click on this button click on select file. And in my case, I'm just going to pick a placeholder picture like so it's going to take a second to upload. And then I'm going to click on insert. And here's the picture. Now you want to click here and change it to your name. So in this case, let's say your name is Claire. And then your title is interior designer, let's say. Now, if you're an interior designer and let's just assume that you want to sell an online course. So the headline here is what you want to change to the headline and you want to make this exciting because no one is going to give you their email address if they're not actually excited about it. So in this case, you would do something, for example, like transform your home with a DIY interior designer skills and save thousands of dollars hiring an expert. Let's just say, okay, let's say that's the idea for your course. And then in the text, you're going to replace the text with something exciting, something sexy, something cool, something that's going to be giving them some value and give them a reason to come back as an interior designer of 10 years. I learned a thing or two and I am ready to share it with the world get access to my upcoming course on how to transform your home and save thousands of dollars in the process. This course will be delivered live and the first people taking it will get a huge discount. And this will only be offered to those on the wait list. And then the name, email, be the first to know. That's it. Really simple, really simple copy, nothing too exciting. And the thing is, what's important is just to get it done. Okay. It's not going to be perfect. You can always tweak it later. Just get it done. You're going to now click on save changes. And this brings us to the end of step three.
And the next step for us is to customize the thank you page.